Hi everyone, welcome to part 13 of To The Moon. Is it going to be unlucky 13? I think it is going to be unlucky in the way that um, John was not, will not have been to the moon. I just have this feeling. In the last part we finished off the memory linkage. Totally the terminology, proper terminology for it. And Neil and Neva seem to have think they've done all they can and have succeeded. But um, yes, looking at this little bit on the left here, there's definitely... We need to go back to here, I'm sure. Too bad we got a straggler here. No loss, we can do this without him. I know, but it feels incomplete. You get too attached, it's going to impede your ability to do your job. That's rubbish. Don't pin your womanly ways on me. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I didn't expect such a big speech there. So yeah, we missed that little tiny bit of childhood over there on the left. And it's something we're going to have to try and force our way into. I've got a feeling that's not going to stay empty to us, I'm sure. But as for now, to start part 13, we're going to dive straight back into the present time. Do we Oh, what the? I didn't know that's what happened. Huh, I guess this part is still the same. Let's check somewhere else. Also, you can dive back into all of those memories. Or from the start to the finish, I guess. Alright, let's do this. Let's just go from the very... That's a little too early. Let's enter from a bit further ahead to see the results. Let's see if this one's any different. Ooh. Sheesh. Same thing here as well. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Uh oh. Something went wrong. Someone threw a spanner in the works. Okay, this isn't right. How could everything be the same? Let's confirm it. We need his last accessible memory. Which is the latest one, because I seemed like a, like a great big frickin' idiot dived in, like there. What happened, what happened, what happened, where did we fudge it up? This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. I'm not too crazy about where this is going. Uh, where was he again? If this is indeed the same memory, he'd be at the cliff overlooking the lighthouse. Oh boy. Did we just seriously pull an all-nighter for no reason? Oh boy. Oh boy. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu, again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient, I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea please. Lily? Freeze him too. Oh boy, dang it, what went wrong? What the fudge? Well, wait here, I'll go send the design signal again. See if there are any changes. Transferred successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps... Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate? From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. Man! Totally it wasn't gonna work. 
can't have been that simple. It's to boost our back two? Not going to happen, is it? So what do we need to... So he decided to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. Yo, what? Oh! What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, Drew? No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Just need you know, to screw about with his memories a little bit, you know, just kind of snap this, snap this little thing and just insert a few posters in there. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where's Neil? Is he watching the movie? <laughs> to the moon, darling! Oh, Henry. Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Well, you don't know where he is. I need to traverse through John to check the results. Well, yeah, I know, but I thought, oh, do we not need to find Neil then? Is that not the whole, okay, I guess Neil's just whatever. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. Well, how? What? Huh? L Lily? Totally getting a screw with his mind now. Poor guy. Perhaps something here could work. Uh, I don't have time for her right now. Oh, well that's just charming, isn't it? Don't have time for her. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? How we doing this again? Huh? Huh? Did she? Huh? Did she? Okay, let's not do that again. Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? Starting. Let's go get a good spot. What's starting? Where are you going? What? Wait. I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. See, because we didn't come to visit this earliest memory. Alright. 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 Oh, wait. No, they didn't go here. They went straight down some... Where, didn't they? Down, go down, oh. Hey, don't squeeze, what's going on? In the atrium. What the heckin' bang, what? Wow. Okay. Wait a minute. This is no real change, this is... Oh, Neil, what the hell are you doing? May I have your attention, please? Oh, gosh. As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! Uh, wow. That was terrible. But I digress. Eva, I feel your pain, girl. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering... What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus? To swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn? Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... You! But I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy you're on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? Just a little bit? No? Why? Not, not even a tiny bit? Like, you know, just like, it's like, uh, no?
Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. Sometime later, and did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon, uh, another two hours later. Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. Oh gosh. Well, good try, Neil. Well done for the attempt. Those kids are probably incredibly bemused. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course. Yeah, be right back. Back. Report. Utter failure. Juice. Hey, we'll get discouraged. I'm sure there's still things to be done. Such as... Well... Hmm. Hmm. I can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. Don't chuck this depressing scene at me again. But can you afford the lunar trip lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can. diagnosis certain? Yes. In fact, we really... Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true for both you and your spouse. Free pony rides in space! Oh look, a wedding. Good for you. But he's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honey moon. That was abysmal. Man, I thought Neil was the one with the bad puns. River? Well, uh, dang damn it. Glass. Slippery. Johnny! Jo John! What the cucumber? Phew! You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Let's just take a break from the whole memory hopping scenario and just uh, try and just chill. It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? 
Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless his secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. It's just nine that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the court to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Ah. The sun's rising. Oh, that's pretty. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Okay, well, I think that's the end of part 13. Where do we go from here? What do we do? How can we do this? How can we sort this out? How do we get Johnny to the moon? Why does he want to go to the moon? What's River got to do with all of this? What's going on? I'm mean, going, where am I? Who am I? I'm confused. And that's the way I shall remain until I play the next part of this. So, hope you've all enjoyed part 13. I'll see you guys in part 14. Uh, if you like this video, please give it some love. Subscribe to my channel if you just happen to have stumbled upon me now. Uh, like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter. All the usual stuff. Huh, and uh, have yourself a good morning, afternoon, evening, or good night. I'll see you in part 14. Well, I'm sure we'll find a solution to our conundrum. And Neil will drop some more geeky references. Guaranteed. Yeah. Bye, everybody. See you next time.